So, thank you everyone for coming out to Squad Ops Community Meeting on January 30th, 2017. Unfortunately, Karma Cut is not able to make it. He is still uh, out of pocket. He should be back uh, by the end of this week, though. However, as you can tell, we can still carry on. Uh, for right now, uh, I'm, going to, yeah, I'm going to be going over the schedule. I have put it up on the month of February. It's up right now. Uh, so if you go to our calendar, it's going to look a little funky, I know, because I had Barton put up prior events, so that way I could see exactly what's been going on so I don't over-track, or not over-track, but uh, have doubled up a ops or something like that. Uh, so what you can do is once you get to the calendar, go click on Next, and that'll, sh that'll show you the whole month of February. And then you can just click the day. Don't click down at the bottom where you see like SOTT basic training and all that. Click the day and you'll see like a link come up and click that. That'll be the quickest way to sign up right now. So you're not searching all the way at the bottom trying to figure out which one it is. For the SOTT basic on Thursday, I kind of messed up. I totally forgot I added one in there last week. So you're going to see four events on that day. Um, right now, the only one that I know that people have joined into is the, I think it's the first session two. If I remember right. Yes, so that's the only one I know of. So for the people who do the EU time, uh, can you just hold off? Uh, I'm gonna have Barton fix that, so that way there's only just one time showing up there, and I'll let you know all about that once I uh, uh, he gets that done, and I'll make an announcement in our uh, announcement channel. From there, uh, Muff, do you have anything to go over? Muff. Uh, no, I got nothing. <laughs> Not much new. Uh, map commotion. It's always a fucking work in progress. Always. Um, I've got a lot of feedback lately uh, with the new rotation. A lot of people like Sumari ITC. Uh, some people uh, don't. That's the way it is. It's in there for now. Um, I've asked, also added OP First Light Conquest. Couple. There are different variations. It's a little, little variety for everybody, and it's always a work in progress. So look for it to always change in the future and stuff like that. So, Other than that, nothing new. Hopefully our servers right. are doing good. We're still working on the chick rate thing with uh, Blue Fang Solutions. Uh, yes, I know Karma has been uh, touching that up quite a bit lately. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there's nothing that we can do as of yet. Um, I'm sure once Karma gets back, he'll fill us in on that some more. Uh, with that being said, is there any questions right now that anybody have? For the month of the calendar or for our map rotation or anything like that? Please type away. So, am, am I allowed to speak? Uh, sure. Go ahead. Yeah. No okay, uh, okay. I I just I just joined. Where where can I go to like you know to like successfully join or am I like finished? Okay. Because so I. I'm sorry. Uh, easy thing to do is at the very tip top of our channel, you're going to see read me. That'll give you okay. all the information that you have. If you can't find the answer that you have or an answer to a question that you have, ping us. We're, we're, we're here more than here to help you out. Uh, however, uh, to get you started, our first Wednesday of the month, which is going to be Wednesday or uh, February 1st this week, is an open op for anyone to join into. Anyone can right. participate. It does not matter if you have SOTT or not. That's fine. Anybody can join that. However, yeah. all our uh, other op events, you have to have SOTT basic. Which is good because this Thursday is our SOTT basic. So you'll be able to get that in there and then uh, join into our other ops that we'll have throughout the month. Okay. All right. Thank you. No problem. Let me break down a general here. Any other questions? Ask us anything you want. We'll try to answer as best of our ability that we can. So, Mr. Chill DK asked, I joined a squad ops event and did not attend because I fell asleep. Oh, he didn't ask. He just let us know. Okay. <laughs> uh, there, okay, so right now we don't have that implemented. Uh, he asked, uh, is there any... Uh, Consequences for not meeting to a uh, an op event. 
and not unregistering yourself. So right now we don't have anything admitted yet. We are looking into doing that. Uh, we understand that life does happen. We understand that. We get that. Life comes first. That's totally understandable. However, if you know that you're not going to be able to make an op, please unregister yourself. So that way uh, we have the people on a wait list being able to get bumped up into the confirmed list. Uh, but as of right now, there is no uh, consequences, but there will be soon in the future. Probably, I want to say maybe three weeks to a month, we're going to have something implemented. And then Binbot has answered, have you noticed the register button not appearing? So, yes, uh, when that happens, if you can't see anything that pops up, that's because everybody's going to the site at once and it's flooding. And, it's, and, the, and the website, the server is trying to keep up with you guys. So if you don't see anything pop up, don't spam it. Wait a couple minutes, or not a couple minutes, wait, wait a few seconds, try refreshing it, and then it should pop up. If it doesn't, it's, it's because just everybody's flooding it. Uh, Tear Gun asks, are you all working on the calendar? I was trying to register it and it's borked. Uh, yes, I was uh, just working on it recently, just now, uh, Tear Gun. <laughs> Everything is up there now. Uh, like I said, for Thursday the 2nd, you're gonna see four events. Uh, I goofed. I made a mistake. I made a boo-boo. However, uh, we will get that fixed to where it'll only show the uh, two events for SOTT, Session 1 and Session 2. Uh, Jaffe. Uh, okay, yeah, he's answering that. So, Bunny, all in all, which league slash communities is Ops currently involved with? Muff, I'll let you take that away because you and Lish... Is Lish here too? No, he's not. I'll let you take that away because you two seem to be the ones that... Uh, that which question was that i'm sorry so bunny asked uh all in all which leagues slash communities is ops currently involved with okay right now we're only involved with ccfn and nas north american squad uh that's it for now there's talk of tournaments and stuff like that 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 we're gonna eventually take part in but they're not getting it going yet uh squad front lines is out there it's kind of a sign up on an individual basis thing uh, so I don't, we don't really dabble in that. That's kind of a personal thing. If you want to go do it, I think it takes place on su on Saturdays. Um, it's EU based, so it's going to go on in the mornings or the usually mornings or early afternoons uh, for us in, in the NA time zones. Uh, as for that, that's about it. Right on, right on. Uh, Cressy the Sailor, he says, I know this gets this may get us a lot, but do we know when leadership training will be ironed out? So Hutch has been going crazy with this. He's been working on a lot of new things uh, for this new leadership training course coming out. Uh, it's, it is, unfortunately, still getting ironed out. He hopes to have it maybe ready within about a month. I know we keep saying that. I understand. I'm sorry. But we're trying to get a good, a good map and idea. And it, it, he's got a very good one out uh, that's, that he's implementing and still testing. Uh, but I think he did believe, I believe he did say that he will be coming out next month with it. Uh, Wavius asks, you called us expendables at the beginning of every operation. What do you mean by this? So if everybody who, who hasn't attended a, a operation yet, I call everybody expendables. Uh, what, what I mean by that is exactly what that means. You're expendables uh, to the squad leaders in command, which means you guys are going to be going out there and you're, you're, you're going to get shot at. That's being expendable. You're going there to test out the waters. That's what we do. And that's what I mean by that. Doesn't mean that you're uh, dumb or stupid or anything like that. That just means we go out there and do our job, and that's to you know go at each other in the firefights. And Captain Matt, thank you for bringing that up. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Uh, Squad Ops does have a Twitter. Uh, Captain Matt, if you can, can you link that in the uh, general channel? If you can, I'll do it. Yeah, give me a second. Um, we do have a Twitter. Uh, and you guys can uh, post questions on there uh, anytime you want. We'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. However, please know that that is something that we just started. Uh, and we're trying to keep an eye on it as best as possible. So if we don't get to you in time, please don't hesitate to ping us and whatnot in there. We'll try to get it answered as fast as possible. No, Mancy, I don't hate you guys. Uh, Caboose, you're right. Squad leaders do uh, walk in front of everybody. Uh, so I just use expendables because it's a nice term that I like to use. Honestly. <laughs> Let me see here. 
Kill Randor. He uh, states that he really likes the new Twitch streams you guys uh, that we've been doing. Can you discuss some of the new features you guys are planning with this? Where is it going, etc.? Pin, do I have you in here? I don't think we do, but I got a pretty good idea. Okay, go ahead. Um, it's uh, right now we're just looking uh, at fine tuning it and you know uh, making sure there's no technical difficulties or anything like that. Uh, we've been getting like ten cameras per game, which is just awesome having that many first person views and as well as our two commentators' views. Uh, we're also going to work on getting some sort of overlay. Uh, to perhaps show, uh, maybe kind of give everyone an idea of what the objectives are, maybe how many guys are left on each team, things like that. Uh, just something to help uh, give better information to the viewer as well as uh, better keep track of how things are going on both sides. Um, also, trying to figure out a way to spread the cameras out between both teams evenly. Uh, we had one open road match where there was about two cameras on one side and nine on the other, uh, just because of the random way that, you know, we let everyone join. Um, other than that, I don't know too much more about it. Uh, I know Penn's still got more ideas in, in his book. Uh, I wish he was here to explain them. I don't, I don't, I don't know them all, though. Other than that, I think that's about it. Any other questions on that? Mm -hmm. That looks like it for now. Um... Let me look at your, uh, El Sabrowski, uh says, I noticed that our AWS training only covers U.S. weapons. Do we have plans to teach our guys to use the Russian weaponry? So really, um, that's probably not going to happen due to the – well, I'm not, I can't really say that. That's a good question. I'll talk to uh, – I can, I can basically answer that one because I'm, I'm the one who teaches and oh, yeah, I, I don't know if – yeah, well, I guess Quirkly's here too. But anyway um, – in AWS, you're basically covering weapons like GPs, which the uh, American side has the the aim the sight that you can do with it. Um, I, there's a specific name for it, and I'm not getting it to my head right now. Um, the the difference in the um, the law and the RPG kits we talked about. Um, all of the 50 cal's work the same. All of the um, the LMGs work the same. Um, it's basically just those like explosive kits you'd call them. Um, and the only reason, the only weapon we don't actually cover is the GP25, but it's because there's not really a guide on that weapon. Cool, cool. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, Kill Randor, uh, as a uh, follow up to the. Oh, go ahead. I can answer that. Um, yeah, so I just reaffirm everything that Muff uh, said. Oh. And um, if if you are interested in providing um, what we call POV cameras, um, that would be fantastic. Of course, there is a limit, you know, in terms of how many we can <laughs> actually manage to include in the stream, just because it kind of gets overwhelming once you get up to like 10, 12 cameras. But if you are interested, um, you can send myself. Uh, yeah, why don't you just send me a message, and uh, we can go over uh, your OBS Studio settings. Um, OBS Studio is uh, the only way we have at this point to uh, provide your stream to our uh, stream server. Ooh, sounds good. Sounds good. That should answer uh, your question there, Kill Randor. And I see another question come up here about the, the stream. Uh, if you don't mind, Hyper, I'll answer that one at the same time. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. Yeah, so as um, Crow Eater is saying, uh, or he's asking, do the POV cameras give a FPS hit? Um, they can. Um, there's basically two encoders. Uh, the, the two in common encoders that are used are uh, one that relies on the GPU, um, and then another one that relies on the CPU. The one that relies on the GPU, N, V, E, and C, doesn't take so much of a hit on the system, especially if you have a higher-end GPU, like a you know, 970, 980, or a 1080, or something like that. Now, you're not going to notice any hit. Um, the X264 encoder, which relies on the CPU, does tend to take quite a bit uh, more of a hit. Uh, it takes more uh, system resources. It uh, does provide a higher quality stream, so if you can stream that, it's great. But um, 
yeah so you 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 may notice a hit if if you don't have really you know a high end or higher end rig cool uh expit uh watching the nas and ccfn events and participation you have to those have you guys considered those have you guys considered running a inner squad scrim slash event in normal game mode whitelist lockdown is great but something more important something more competitive so that's something that we have been discussing as a staff uh we haven't really ironed out any details of it however we have touched bases with each other on that um we're we're probably gonna do something like that but that's, that's kind of a little more down the road uh more into the future but definitely we, we definitely have thought about doing something like that uh, not a chinese spy asks in terms of game modes we mainly have one life events in the future oh no you're just yeah, okay uh, in the future, we'll, okay. I'm sorry, can't Chinese spy. I thought you were saying something. So now, Chinese spy asks: In the future, will be will we be incorporating any other game modes? For example, last team standing within a certain grid square game mode we tested about a week ago. So now, Chinese spy, what you're talking about with that game mode was actually for what Hutch is going to bring about into his leadership training. We were just using you guys to test that out. Uh, for other game modes, as of right now. Like I said, it's only going to be one life events. Uh, we've touched, we've, like I said, we, uh, to Xbit, we've touched the uh, bases about other game modes. However, for right now, we are sticking to one life events. Uh, do the PO. Oh, yeah, yeah, you already did that. Um, I don't have a keyboard in front of me, but I could kind of pencil in on that a little bit. Me, me and Hutch recently were discussing and talking ideas, but you know, there's been ideas tossed around, but nothing that is a for sure go. But, uh, you know, it, it's, it's definitely something that's been discussed. And we want to provide variety for everybody, too. We want to be able to change it up and say, hey, we're throwing something new at you this week, guys. Be ready for this and that. And it's in the works. Right now, we're just still going with what's been working. And uh, we're going to provide stuff that is hopefully going to be enjoyed and, and sought after more in the future as well. Yeah. And Keys, for your question, CQP pistol fight type stuff yeah we like i said uh again we've gone over a lot of stuff about that um for sure again it's just something that we're not going to implement yet or have even really discussed a lot of details into it yet and again like i said we're just more of a one life event so far but that could change in the uh, future um Drew Meister asks, what is the community currently doing to encourage strong autonomy within individual squads? That is a very good question that I, myself, cannot answer. Is there any, like, a uh, muff? I know... I encourage squad leaders to, to step up and encourage it amongst their squads. Um, there's usually really good communication from command down to squad leaders, uh, but we do need... Uh, we do have times where squad leaders and their fire team leaders sometimes have trouble communicating. Um, it's tough to do, and working on that squad leadership program is going to help, as as well as just squad leaders uh, encouraging feedback amongst uh, other, you know, their squad. Uh, it helps when we have, you know, we've worked with different ways at trying to get fire team leaders because some people don't want to be a fire team leader, um, but some and some. So we went to a volunteer system have people volunteer that want to do it well sometimes nobody wants to do it in the squad so you have to tell people to do it uh there's really no solid way of figuring that out right now and just to kind of tack my two cents onto it too um even though we don't have the leadership training out if you're interested in being a fire team leader if you're interested in doing specialty kits take the aws program um it will not only make you more aware of what kits do so as a fire team leader you can assign them better but it will also make you aware of what you need to do if you happen to get one of those kits. Um, it's a good prerequisite, in my opinion, to taking the leadership course because you'll have a better idea of how inside the squad works. Uh, I want to bring up one thing. Uh, our mod dev team, they are continuing to work on an SOTT map and they're also working on flares and AI. Uh, they have made some kind of ground. However, the, a lot of this won't be implemented until we get the uh, support from OWI when they drop the, um, what's the word I'm looking for, guys? Help me out. 
mod support. When they drop the mod support, then we'll be able to implement a lot more of that stuff, our, our SOTT map and our flares and AI and all that good stuff. Uh, Johnny4789 asks, can we do CQB training nights using the CQB kill house with live enemy? That's a very good uh, question. Uh, that's something that we can discuss with our uh, staff and managers uh, in our staff meeting and figure out what we can uh, go from there with that. And then card game AI, the ops team is making NPCs. Uh, we aren't making NPCs card game. However, uh, there is AI in the game. However, it's, it's not, they haven't implemented it yet. Uh, again, that's with the mod support and that's not going to come until OWI releases that info, which is what we're waiting on. But they have uh, AIs in the game. They're just not being used right now. Uh, one tap man asks, so what are some future training sessions that are on the table? Uh, well, obviously our uh, one that's coming up will be the uh, leadership training. Um, I know there, we've been talking about a medic one as well, but that's not really going to be one by itself. Uh, the medic one will probably ro be rolled into another SOTT, most likely maybe the basic, because you really can't go over 40 minutes worth of, uh, information with, uh, medic. I mean, you can, but it'll be long, not really system. long and dry out. Uh, but we are going to be, we have been uh, talking about that and implementing some kind of a medicing, medical training. Uh, as of right now, I think that's the only two things, uh, that we are concentrating on. I'm sure that Henry Hutch has more to come, though. Drew Meister asks, when will the leadership course be ready? Also, are there any plans to formulate a comm standard to streamline communication within ops? So, again, uh, yeah, leadership, hopefully next month. But your second uh, question, to streamline communication, that's pretty much uh, what the basic is for. That's, you know, our, our, our three A's, our... Our three D's, um, our accuracy, uh, brevity, clarity, uh, or I'm sorry, the ABCs, accuracy, brevity, clarity, and our three D's, uh, direction, distance, uh, oh, I said that wrong, didn't I? What is distance? Uh, what's the other one, guys? <laughs> okay, I'll go find out. Excuse me one quick. I totally, I'm, I'm dumping on the other um, D. Um, so yeah, Piper, I, I, yeah, go ahead. Direction, distance, description. Oh my goodness, that's what it is. I'm an idiot. So yes, that's pretty much to help us streamline the communication. Um, I know people talk. Working, I think. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah it works now. Okay. So the three Ds, you know, uh, like our communication inside of our uh, uh, SOTT basic is to get you somewhat streamlined. I know it kind of gets crazy in events when people start having their, uh, the firefights start happening and you get the bullets flying through your head and all that stuff. Um, however, just remember, like I said, in uh, my uh, rules and briefing to keep it precise accu or accurate, clear, and don't be excessive with it. If that makes sense. Uh, and also with the more support that comes out, hopefully we'll be able to admit some other communications as well. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find out when what's the last question I uh, answered. Okay. Uh, we have the that was the other trainings question. Okay, a Capita, yep, all right. Uh, I'm new to squad. Co uh, Crow Eater asks, I'm new to squad and haven't been following its development. What new things can we expect from the game as the game progresses through alpha? And anything groundbreaking other than new weapons and vehicles? Uh, what you get on Join Squad is what we get. Uh, not all of us have the special access. Actually, a lot of us don't have, any of us don't have the special access behind the scenes. Uh, and even if we did, we wouldn't be able to tell you anyway due to NDA restrictions however what you can expect for the new update to come out from what they've talked about is uh the i think the it's the uh, uh movement system i think they're going to be implementing that in the next uh next update if i remember right uh, hey could i hey, could i ask a question go ahead let us see. um so uh you, you're saying if people could volunteer 
to lead a fire team? Uh, that will come out once we uh, have the leadership uh, training course come out. As of right now, that is mainly handled by our staff, our manager staff, and uh, sometimes regulars if we don't get enough staff. Uh, but once the uh, leadership does come out, that will be opened up to you guys as well, to the community. But just know this, though. Once this comes out, it's not going to be like our basic or AWS or anything like that. If, if you can't perform to what we want, we're not going to let you pass that course until we know you're good. Does that make sense? Uh, that makes a lot of sense. I'm okay with that. Uh, El Sobrowski asks, how about, how about sharpshooting kits? Do we have plans to train for that, or is, is it not important enough? Uh, <laughs> With the sharpshooting kits, they're basically useless right now, honestly speaking, from from our from my standpoint anyway. Uh, you really their 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 aim is off. You have to compensate for it. Uh, I know they're up. They're going to be updating that. Just don't know when. Uh, but right now, as it stands, the the sharpshooter. Yeah, honestly, we we really don't like using that. Someone else, if if anybody else wants to jump in on. Well, yeah, it's quarter. basically it's made so that uh, if you shoot at any elevation at all, it's off by up to uh, ten meters. Well, also on top of that, we don't uh, use yep. ahead, we Go don't ahead. use optics for squad. Um, so we basically, even though a lot of our trainings transition over into regular squad, we're making them as a uh, as a treat so that people who participate in our events will get better at doing these one life scenarios. Not all of the information that like, you know, here's how to hold angles and stuff like that will not always transition into the vanilla game. Um, but we, we don't use optics because it basically gives one player an extreme advantage over another player um, in almost in every scenario. Um, so we've stopped using optics. If there becomes a reason that we do start using optics again, we'll look into doing a training for that. But for now, the answer is just no. Yes, and when he means by optics, he doesn't mean the red dots. Optics means the zooms. So you're going to have a red dot, which is your basic roughing kit, and then you can choose that optic one where it zooms in. That one we don't allow to use. And uh, Oh, I'm sorry. We don't allow to use any of them, right? We, we allow the red dots on the U.S. Sorry, side, we, are no, the we, do red not, dots. we don't allow the, um, yes. uh, the, the, the optics ACOG. or the marksman. Yeah. The reason why is, like you said, it's so much easy to spot the enemy and get them and and really our rounds will like they'll go quick and like believe me we've tested this many 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 times and we we don't want the rounds to end like within 10 minutes it, it will especially with some of you guys because i know a lot of you like muff can like murder people really quick with those uh guns it, it ends up being really unrewarding gameplay as well uh you've just done like a 10-year flank and then somebody had an optic and wipes your whole squad. Yeah, it, it ends up. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, it, it's just it, it's really unrewarding, and we want it. We want to make sure that um, both sides are able to like adequately fight each other, and not just like, oh, I got sniped from across the map. It, I had no fun during this round. Like I, I couldn't fight back. I couldn't see anybody. The, those are the things that like when you're playing a round of vanilla squad where you can respawn. Okay, I know a general direction that it may have come from. I can go find him and kill him and get revenge or whatever. Or, or I can even uh, communicate with my teammates that are near me or my squad mates. But because of the one life format and the way we use communication, it, it ends up, it, it allows one person with an optic to wipe a squad and they have no way of fighting back. And uh, it, it, it becomes really unrewarding. Yeah, they, they can. <laughs> when we were testing these ops uh, with the optics and all that involved with it, the marksman class, literally one marksman can get rid of a whole team. Yep, and it, it's happened. So that's why yep. we <laughs> that's why we took it away. And until they can find something to counteract that, or until they implement something to counteract that, we won't be using them. Yeah, that uh, was back when Cat <laughs> Matt actually got kills. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Drew Meister asks, is Karma still alive? Yes, Karma is still alive. Uh, he's currently in the process of moving. Uh, that's the reason why he hasn't been around at all for the past month. However, he should be back on at the end of this week. Is there, is there any other events happening than the One Life events? 
Uh, no, uh, our community is mainly just a one life event. Uh, however, we do have servers uh, where we go on and play uh, every day as well. We have a, 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 a public server and a white life server that we uh, usually lock down to, ooh, excuse me, uh, to Sundays. Uh, we might be branching that out later on, depending on how it goes. But we do lock it down to where the only way you can join into that server is if you're registered on our forums. Okay. Uh, it, can I ask another question or no? Go ahead. Um, uh, I was wondering... Oh, no, sorry. Uh, I, I don't know what I'm thinking. Sorry, but... Okay. Take your time. Oh, they shit this place grew when I was gone. <laughs> yes, I did. I know, I know. I, I forgot what I was going to say. Okay, buddy. Yeah, sorry, uh, just go ahead and, uh, if you remember, just type it out, or, or, or uh, if there's not much talking going on, go ahead and ask it. Um, Kill Randor, is there any thoughts to having three-headed game modes or adding reinforcements mid-game on One Life event or One Life Ops? Uh, that's a good question. We have, we've discussed this. But as of right now, as it stands, no. Um, we might do other game modes and open it up more. But like I've been saying right now, we're just concentrating on the One Life events. Uh, any other questions? I just wanted to say I'm really happy with the direction we're all going, and I'm really, really happy with all of the staff. All of y'all have been extremely helpful. Thank you. Thank you, Chrissy. I really do appreciate that. If it, if it wasn't for you guys, like any of you guys, we would not be here, believe me. We love that you guys are here and love that you guys love what we're doing. And it's what keeps us going, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, a lot of us can attest to the fact that it was like 10 of us just sitting around going, you know, it'd be fun. And I mean, I, I guess I kind of speak out of turn because I wasn't even here for the, the, you know, basically the creation of it. Um, but we turned around twice and, you know, we have like, we have over 100 regulars. Like, it's just crazy. Um, and we just, I guess I'm speaking for everybody saying that, like, we're just really intrigued and surprised that this many people want to be here and do this. But we appreciate it and we want to keep doing it. Sure. Is there anything else? We're about to hit the, well, actually we have hit the 30 minutes mark. We'll be wrapping this up here soon, shortly. Is there a specific uh, guideline to getting the ops tag? Or is it just more of a gut feeling like, this guy's been around a long time, let's go ahead and... So the general rule of thumb that we let you all know about on how to become a regular, uh, in essence is what you're uh, asking about, uh, is participate in our squad ops, be there in our servers, uh, help pop them, play in them, uh, be here in Discord, be in our forums. You don't have to do it all, but the typical rule of thumb is roughly about three of them. If you're doing three of those, we're going to notice you. And don't, don't be afraid that if we haven't seen you or if we haven't came to you for like five months or three months or something like that, there's a lot of... <laughs> There's a lot of people that we recommend. So don't, don't feel like we're like pushing you out or anything like that. It's just there's a lot of people that we go through to, and sift through. And also on top of that, um, I just kind of want to point it out there. Um, if you see someone new come in that you've never seen that kind of you know, has the op tag instead of being like, you know, you can't have that, like, you know, but getting down and be like, hey, you know, that's reserved for these people. Um, and just kind of let them know. Most people are really nice about it and just kind of like, oh yeah, I didn't know that, man. That's pretty neat. Um, and then kind of follow in that, in that trend. Um, if you find somebody that's being belligerent about it or, you know, intentionally trying to like slam us, that's another thing. Let some staff know, but for the most part, just don't be mean about it. Yeah. Just please ask nicely. There are a lot of people, uh, we understand, um, about that. A lot of people try to use the off tag. That's fine. Uh, we'll ask them, you know, take it off nicely. And if you guys see it, go ahead. Like he said, like I said, ask nicely. Uh, if they don't want to, please bring it to our attention. Uh, and and we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and make sure it gets handled.
All right. If there's nothing else. Well, last checks. Okay. Uh, if there's nothing else, uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap this meeting up. If you have anything uh, that you can think of afterwards, please go to our forums, uh, throw it in there, or you can uh, post it here in our uh, general channel or message one of the staff members or managers, and uh, we'll make sure to get it answered. Uh, thank you guys for coming out. We definitely appreciate it. We love you all. Um, like I said, if it wasn't for general community of you guys being here, we, this, we wouldn't be able to make this happen. So we definitely, definitely... Uh, appreciate you guys coming out and uh, participating in our events and our servers and here in Discord and in our forums as well. Thank you very much. Is there anybody else I want to add in? Any other staff? Yeah, fill up our servers. Try out the map rotation. I throw any feedback in the general channel. I love the new rotation. Same. It's it's a refreshing change. I think that I was Muff's agreed. Work, wasn't it? it was. Muff is constantly working on that server rotation. That's correct. Props. Be hold on one quick. Uh, before I end this, uh, one top's got a good question. Uh, do the servers need funding or are they sponsored? So uh, right now we uh, do not accept any kind of donationary uh, allotment. Um, we did do that Christmas uh, shirt and mug thing. Uh, that's just us testing waters to see how good it goes. Uh, however, right now uh, we are not uh, sponsored either. Uh, we what, what what you guys have here is is from us. Uh, some of the staff help. Uh, some staff and managers help pay uh, for the servers and whatnot, um, along with uh, Karma Cut. But uh, yes, right now, as of right now, we do not accept any donations. But that may change in the future as well. Once obviously, since we're we're getting bigger. The last thing I was gonna add is like you know this is a great time to ask questions and stuff like that. But if you find yourself during the week, or during the month, I guess. Uh, having questions that aren't answered, feel free to ask them in the general channel. Feel free if you just want to ask it like personally, DM some of the staff. I personally don't mind answering questions. I don't think Hyper does either. Um, just don't like clog up our channel with like two questions every like five minutes, you know? For sure. Uh, I don't care. Ask as many as you want. I don't give a crap. I love answering. But it doesn't bother me any. But thank you guys. Uh, we're going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, thank you for coming out. Uh, we definitely appreciate it. Again, like I said, if you have any questions later on, don't hesitate to ask. Go ahead and post them up. We don't care. That's what we're here for. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you.